Fortnite building is what sets it apart from other shooters in the battle royale arena, as being able to throw up walls, ramps, and other structures on the fly can completely change the dynamic of a fight. We will be recreating this mechanic on Roblox Studio from the ground up in a series of parts. You start off by inserting a local script in starter pack, then inserting a module script to the local script. This will become our build manager component. We then want to define our module settings. Defining the grid size and the build distance, which will be 16 and 2. Then we want to define our module variables. The variables would be the is building and the selected build. Now we want to make our private functions. Our first private function would be crit snap, which will have the parameters of value and size. Next, we make our module functions, which would consist of next build rotation and next build position. Define direction vector 3, which would be the mouse.look vector, passed as the second argument in the function, times the build distance. Then add the humanoid root part position to the direction vector. Then we want to return a vector 3, which consists of grid snapping each of the values in the direction vector with the module grid size. Calculating the rotation, you want to check if the type of the past argument is a vector 3. If it is, you want to find the arc tangent and radians of the vector 3 x and z. Then you want to return a vector 3 with the x and z as 0, but the y as grid snap. Grid snap in the y value from the arctangent and radiance and math.rad negative 90.
set build manager component that is building to not build manager component that is building. This is optional, but if you want build mode to be toggled once the person pressed the keybinds for their build, you want to set is build into true just like I did. If you don't, don't add that. Now we want to make a table which consists of the keybinds and what they represent. I will later show you how to change it so it can represent any keybind you want. In the switch build function, you want to set build manager component that selected build to the table we just created index that with input objects code Now in the local script, you want to bind the action to the functions we just created in the build manager component. This will require some knowledge on context action service. If you have no prior knowledge on context action service and want to learn more about it, I'll make sure to leave a post from the dev forum in the description. Inside the render step event, you want to check if the build if is building is set to true. If it is, you want to get the next build position and location. And that is going to be it for this tutorial. See you guys next episode. Thank mm -hmm. you.